Uh, okay, we are live. Hi and welcome to our channel. We are the Powder Puff Girls. My name is Evelina and with me as always I have Alexis. Hello. Uh, and today we're going to talk about makeup. It's been a while. We're going to Kekul and Speckle. So, <laughs> so while we do this, uh, while we talk about makeup, we're going to apply some makeup to our faces. And we like I, I cheated a bit, so I'm just uh, going to share this on Twitter while Alexis talked for us for a bit. I talk for us. What? Talk while I share on Twitter. Thank you. Oh, ah, yes. Um. So Evelyn is coming up with the pictures and all that jazz, and we're cackling and spackling, and we are. I'm very energized at the moment, so I'm a little manic. Mm -hmm. So just, you know, let's let's just see where this little journey takes us today, shall we? Yes, and hello everyone in chat. We I saw that we have Frog and we have Rocks. Uh, the girls are late. No, we're here, we're here. Uh, um, I just had to refresh the stream um, because it wasn't coming up. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, so but we have, and Angelo is on his way. So, yeah. hello and welcome. Hello, bienvenue. Bien bienvenidos. Bienvenidos is Roxana Metamorphosis Rux. I don't know why I just sounded like Bill Cosby when I did that, but. <laughs> are, are, are you drunk? Are you drunk? <laughs> Hold on. And... I am packed up on coffee. That is the truth. Yeah, uh, it's so interesting with the time differences with, with you in Australia and me in Sweden, like because it's noon here. Mm. No. Yeah, okay, let's see. Okay, now I can concentrate. So I'm just gonna like the first thing before I start to show pictures, I'm gonna have to, to fix my face a bit. But we are going to start with well, we have I think we have like four brands that we want to discuss today and mm. the first we're going to talk about is Anastasia Beverly Hills because I got a package from Joe yesterday not with ABH but with Makeup Revolution and I am really inspired to create something very summery and glowy because I've been feeling in that mood ever since I saw the latest release from ABH nor uh, ABH and uh, no, yeah no. that's the very very rich um so I am going to, I, I can't see, I can't see. So I am going to show, pop into the. Um, first off in chat, can you hear us? Like, are we live live? We should be live according to me. Okay. Yeah. Cause I'm just wondering, cause nobody's responding in chat. Hmm. Oh, hang on. Uh, oh. Oh, yay. Fro okay. Frog said yes, she can hear us. Okay, cool. Okay, good. So, can you see the window that I have yeah. up? Okay, so this is uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills website, and they have a lot of releases. But, like, we have the Alyssa Ed Edwards palette, the mirror, we have the launch edition, we have the fan. They released an eye primer, but so do you want to talk about all of it? Because I was going straight to the the summer things that I wanted to talk about. <laughs> well, I just want to say that I want the Alyssa Edwards thing. The, the eyeshadow palette I'm happy with. I don't need the fan. I don't need the mirror. Yeah. But I really love that palette. That is, oh. Surprisingly so enough, good. I don't feel that drawn to it for some reason. I don't oh, know why. Sex, sexy palette. I don't, I just, I feel like I have all of these colors in other palettes right now. But I I'm, don't. You don't? Well, okay, get it then. God. It. Jesus. Jeez. Um, and like and with their formula, I'm like, I can, I can totally live without having a, a white and black with their, the, with their formula because that is going to be gone in like a week for me because it's so powdery usually yeah so, so it feels like two throwaway colors to be quite honest um, but but uh you have it. the riviera palette 
Who has uh, it? Not fair. Who? Rocks. Oh, oh, so so we're going down to the Riviera Palette because I like you know you know ABH they they release uh, very like the, their latest releases have been kind of uh, similar, and with this one I feel like they released the Riviera and then they released the the Alyssa Edwards Palette and they are kind of similar. They are. I would have to agree. Seeing them side by side, yes, I would agree with that. Yeah. Uh, I kind of prefer the Riviera palette, uh, to be honest. I like I the Alyssa Edwards palette. Let's take one of each. Yes. So, so the Riviera palette is there, and yeah, hey, they girl. Are Hi, girl. I can't see the chat, but hello. Uh, and they also kind of released like loose highlight. Like I, I follow a bunch of people on Twitter who are part of the ABHPR now and they show all of these packages they get and i was like i want that and i want that i can't afford it yeah. <laughs> but um but these loose highlighters I, I generally don't like loose products like loose powder products because it yeah. gets everywhere everywhere yes <sighs> but they look really stunning uh, when i see them on the skin uh, yeah. from these photos and stuff like that but mm -hmm. The things I wanted to talk about, like, was the the summer collection for me, like the summer collection for me, and and that, that is more like bronzy and glowing, like the pigments. We have loose pigments uh, um, coming in, and I, I like I don't know. There's something about these colors that I'm like, oh, I want it. I want to dip my body in it. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like ah, it just feels like summer to me. Oh, mm -hmm. look at that. Oh, my God. It looks stunning on darker skin tones. Oh, it's yeah. incredible. Um, and they also have, like, this... Um, yeah, they have the PR thing or the, the, the launch edition with the box, and you can buy it without the box. But this is like a shimmer body oil and like i can't see i cannot see in front of me a scenario where i were to like grease up my entire body for the beach like no. <laughs> I, I cannot see it happening but no. i kind of i kind of like i want to be glowing i want to be glowing <laughs> i want to be glowing and i want to be on a beach <laughs> take me to a vacation spot wherever it is oh I just I, I I I'm loving the vibe of just glowing on the beach, and I mm. would probably just like look like um what is his name like Edward in Twilight? Oh my God, yes, <laughs> like deadly pale and just sparkling like hell. Yes, make me shine, beach. <laughs> I'm a diamond in the sun. Make me sparkle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. oh, by the way, guys, this is normally what happens when Evelina and I get together on a daily basis. We just yeah. sit here and just ca say the stupidest shit and just cack ourselves the whole time. Yeah, that's true. And then we go, why are we 17 again? <laughs> yeah, Alexis brings out this personality in me. Like, I turn into a teenager, but not only that, I turn into a high teenager. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you sweat like a hog on the beach, not in general. Sure. <laughs> Sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But the reason I wanted to talk about that is because I got like stuff from Joe. I, I did a live stream on my channel yesterday where, where I showed everything off. But I'm like, I'm really inspired by the summer edition collection thing where I just want to, I want to glow like the sun. So I got a highlighter palette, like, um, and I got makeup palette, and I got like so much nice stuff that I'm going to use today. So I'm going to use everything is from Makeup Revolution today. Yeah, Joe! Get... Go, Joe! Oh, go, Joe! Go, Joe! Go, Joe! Go, Joe! Go, Joe! Go, 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 go. <laughs> um, but yeah, so 
And I hope that I, I have time to talk about or to do my makeup. I, I might not be showing up as much because I'm going to show you. Are we done with ABH or do we want to talk about it? Yeah. So that, excuse me while I try to find who was up next. Trixie. Trixie Mattel. She have ha, she has released her own makeup brand. And we love Trixie, so we stan. <laughs> stan 100%. 100%. Like, it's so embarrassing, like, because I, I am again, I, I don't like stans, but I'm like, I stan you, Trixie. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Let's see. Uh, or, uh. Uh. Wrong one. Wrong oh. one. But the, the one thing that I truly love about her release is, like, the... Ooh. The whole, like, look at this throwback. Like, this, like, I think that, I don't yeah, know how no, old no, no. Trixie is. She's my age. Oh, no, she, no, no. She's, she's almost younger. 30. She's yeah. very much younger. She's, like, 10 years younger than I am. Which, I think, yeah, I think you were thinking about Katja or something. Yeah. Uh, the, the but 28, 29. Because oh. he's, or she says all the time, she's like, I'm almost 30. And it's like, yeah. I don't know if she's joking or not, because I feel like people that are younger than me should not be more successful than me. And that makes me <laughs> extremely jealous when it happens. Like, sure, she's worked her ass off to get where she is, but she's younger and should not have that much money. <laughs> Just because I'm you're younger. So should it's everybody like, else. It's like the thing where you have... What is the word I'm looking for? Like when you go to the doctor's appointment and you get a doctor that is like 10 years younger than you. Mm -hmm. And it's like, this is not supposed to be happening. Where are all the old people to take mm -hmm. care of me? Like, like it just feels weird to have someone who's basically a baby take care of you. I, yeah. You know what I mean? Like I, they are really good at what they're doing. It's just the idea of someone younger than me being that done with school that they became a doctor yeah angelo is he here angelo is he angelo here? when did you all start drinking you all were sober half an hour ago well <laughs> <laughs> well we kind of slammed a few but you know, we, we, we have like our ppg sh shot here like we just like put it in our veins and start pumping <laughs> <laughs> okay where were we we were talking about Trixie and yeah so uh, she... oh my god I can't what that is just too far I was like we're pumping it into our veins we're pumping <laughs> and then I got to thinking about breast pumps oh my god stop it I know I it's know the giant milk oh let's okay let's talk about the makeup Alexis so here we okay, have I'm like a well, here we have like some of the actual releases. He, he, she, he, she, she doesn't uh, have a lot. Uh, she has a lipstick and, and she sparkles and sprinkles. So, and she, like she is just starting out. So it's not yeah. a lot, but I loved her uh, launch video. Mm -hmm. And when she basically said like about lipsticks in general, uh, I don't know. I, I don't know exactly what she said, but but it was like if you're paying more than eighteen dollar for eighteen dollars for a lipstick, you're doing something wrong, basically. <laughs> <laughs> but I I just I, like I want to own this this makeup just because of the freaking package. I don't think, care if I I'm ever going to use it. Like this this is my childhood vibe right here. Yes. Like this is what I grew. I like I'm such an eighties baby. Like I was a I was like a kid in the late 80s, beginning of the 90s. And this was like my life. Yeah. Very Lisa Frank-esque is what I'm get like the vibe I'm getting from it. Like this is like My Little Pony. It's like Barbie. It's like all of those like very oomphy color. I love and I love like the, I'm a packaging whore. Like I love the packaging on this one. It's so she fun. Said it, not me. Yeah, sorry. I'm a packaging whore. So Stacy is a megawatt pink lip color. Uh, so 
he, there's only one. No, no, there, there, there's two. There's a few. Oh, <laughs> and I mean, I look at these photos. Like I want the. I want it. <laughs> what? What are you laughing about? What did I do? <laughs> You're like, there's more. They're, oh, I just, uh, like, <laughs> all right. I can't handle it. No, I, and, and like, I'm not even looking at the makeup. I'm only looking at the, the, the photos. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm like, oh, give it to me, please. But there's only one lip color. That was what I'm, I was going to say. There's yeah. only one lip color as of now. Uh, are you keeping an eye on the chat? Because I can't see it. <laughs> Girl just wrote, I'm just a whore. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> like and the yes, whole thing. Brian, who is also known as Trixie, turns 30 in August. The fuck? Uh, not fair. Not, not fair. fair. Not fair. The lip color is broke. Yeah, I would probably Ooh. never use the lip color, to be honest. Like, not on yeah. a daily basis. Like, it would turn my... my, my teeth a gorgeous gel yellow i just want it for the 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 what is it called the case packaging yeah I, I, I want the trixie shelf where all of the stuff and all of the the things surrounding it and she also has like sparkles and it's gentle cosmetic grade glitter ultra fine particles approved for eyes um so yeah it's glitter but I, I, I really say, when she first had when she in her video when mm. she was showing the big sparkle, I was like, that is not ice safe sparkle. Like, is she yeah. trying to go for a, a fucking lawsuit? And then she showed the safe for ice sparkles, and I was like, yeah, oh, okay, okay, yeah, cool. exactly. So, so yeah, but these are, are like safe for eyes. Let's see if I can get get individual photos of it i love this yellow one i i, I kind of want it but i have a thing with glitter because glitter you can find kind of easily really che cheaply mm -hmm. and so or so i'm like I, i'm really safe that's the problem uh, yeah but i i'm I, i'm 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 a, a okay let's go on <laughs> is that what you're saying you live dangerously i, I live on the danger side i live in the danger side <laughs> Oh, no. I'm a nurse, and I when I I read an article about this woman who was wearing um, glitter on her eyes, yeah, and the glitter went into her eye, caused an infection inside her eye, and she lost her eye. And I'm like, I'm never wearing sparkle on my eye. Yeah, that I freaked me out, and that's why I'm not going to talk about it. <laughs> Don't shame me. <laughs> Don't sparkle shame me. Yes. <laughs> yes, each. Uh, oh. But this lemon color is so beautiful. I it really is like so it. so pretty. Like um, I don't I don't typically like mustard colors on me, but this is not a mustard color. This is no, a bright No, this is a bright neon color. pink. Pe yellow. Yeah. Pe yellow. Yeah. <laughs> Neon pink yellow. <laughs> Neon pink yellow. <laughs> yeah, but I really like this. I would re I would really like to have this color because I love yellow on the eye. And like I, I love doing yellow looks. And and this one I wouldn't mind to have like an inner corner thing. But yellow looks so good on your milky skin. It looks so good on you. Thank you. Yeah, I really yeah. like yellow. Uh, I, I didn't like I, I I started using yellow like a uh, few months. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. Bless Sorry. you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that was like, oh, uh, Rox, no. What? Rox had a mosquito go inside her eye. It came out the next day, had red eyes for three days. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. I do not appreciate mosquito makeup eyes. No. Uh, there's also this like very what is this called um oh Iridescent? i think i think this is carol ann it's a static stunner an otherworldly holographic silver so that that it looks white it looks pure white on the it picture beautiful 
I would have liked like pictures with these like swatched or in a look yeah. just to see yeah. what the actual look actually looked like. Mm. And then we have oh I love these colors. I wouldn't mind the blue, the aqua. Malibu is a super aqua. And, and it, no right wait. It. We have marshmallow, it's a crystallized ice white, and we have a lemon bar. It's an electrical confection. So I think that, that this one that we just watched was maybe marshmallow. And the last one is, yeah, this is the holographic one. Yeah, yeah. So, so the white and the holographic I might not be for me, but I really like the blue and the yellow. Yeah, I agree. I like, but see, I like marshmallow. I think marshmallow is super pretty. And I, I would a... wear the hell out of, um, which one is it? Uh, Carol Ann, I'd wear the hell out of that. Mm. The, the uh, silver the blue and the yellow for me i i mean i love blue on me so i might actually be interested in the blue but the yellow not i think it's the mm. wrong type of yellow for my skin tone so Maybe. I, don't, I don't know if i'd wear that yeah i I'm, i would like to, the white the marshmallow one might be like a good one to have when you want to have like the stunning because yesterday i did a look and i wanted something in my inner corner that kind of reminded me of crushed eyes uh-huh and that would marshmallow could have been a very good one for that yeah definitely I want, I want the summer drink like i want to have like a you know like one of those colorful pinkity drinkities <laughs> <Gosh>. <laughs> with, uh. with crushed oh, it's so good and I, I want a mojito i don't care if it has alcohol in it or not i want a mojito fair enough mojitos are yummy give me a mojito Oh, I'm gonna have to make a mojito somewhere. White, blue, yellow, pull of dark pigment from my Yeah, that's true. Yellow does cancel out some some under circle or under eye. Mm, I can't see the chat, so you have to read it for me. Yeah, oh yeah. sorry. Frog said that blue, white is what she would go with, and that yellow can pull dark pigment from under the eyes. Mm. Yeah. Uh, oh, uh, um, oh, are you buying the Trixie makeup for the con the for the container? Yeah, I just I, I really like it. I know no, I, that that's what she's doing. Oh, I want it. I want to do. It. I would. It's not. It's not expensive either. Like it's a, it's no. an affordable 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 brand so far, and yeah. and so I would really think consider it. It depends on what the shipping would be for me, and if it because I, I I do think that he he's not gonna be on like beauty bay or something um so the, the, it kind of depends on the shipping for me but I could totally see myself getting these just for the freaking containers yeah uh, so we have the sprinkles and sprinkles are not considered eye safe because they are too big so you have to use them like a, a like it depends on what you, what kind of person you are but keep them away from your eye mm. uh, safely. Actually, if you wanted to do them underneath, like mm. in the corner of your eye, underneath your eye, you might be able to get away with that, but that's still like, that yeah. scares me just a little too close to the eye. Yeah. If you're like Alexis, this is not for you. If you're like me and you don't give a shit about your health and... <laughs> <laughs> this is definitely okay for you and um, so we have um, like i think huh? these are already out rock yeah yeah these are out yeah they, they are av available to purchase on trixiecosmetics.com like we are shilling her out like hardcore yes yes we are we are like jacqueline hill shilling stuff out <laughs> Oh, <laughs> okay so i think um i think this might be a melon baller it's heavy duty pink gold melon sexy uh, i don't know if that's it no it no no this one this one is skipper skipper teenage dream neon bubblegum with the lime duochrome mm, i want them all yeah, this one I don't like because it's too many colors for me. But it is a 
What is it? I think that's my a blend of pink hearts and crosses. Is it? No. No, no, that one's melon baller. Is this melon baller baller? I think so. Do you think? I do. Because it's, it's a heavy duty pink and gold melon. Yeah. No. It's an immaterial girl. It would take a natural natural look to a supernatural state. Goldy plum stars in a multi-size glitter mix. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, I didn't so, realize there were five. Oh, there's four. Five. There's five. So this I, is an immaterial. I think there's five. One, two, three, four. No, four. No, five. <laughs> oh, my God. We are the smart. <laughs> we're so smart. So this is immaterial girl. I uh, am a real booty guru. <laughs> uh, so, and the next one. Okay, so so this is okay, this is pony up. It's quite a ride. Unicorn confetti glitter recommended for pulling an all-diner. Giddy up. Like this is the one that or I felt like, well, it's fun, but it's not for us or for me at least. Like this, yeah. this is more like the 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 person like a performer or someone going out to i don't know like like me out to the club. Years ago, maybe out to the club out to the club yeah but i can really see this being a fun addition for those who likes to make extra looks but they're not for me but i really like the it's very tricksy mattel can we say that like it's a very tricksy of Absolutely course have on brand I would actually love to buy this for my kid. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I have to buy this for, I'm gonna check out what the, the shipping is and see if I can afford it. Oh, my eyebrows are on Fleet Beach. Yeah, I'm yeah. just, I haven't done anything. I'm, I'm talking about makeup, I might have to. Okay, so this is, what is this? Uh, 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 this must be Skipper. Or is this Skipper? Neon bubblegum with the lime duke. I don't know what this is. He should have put the name in. But it's a it's a pretty. And this is Buffy, I think. Pink yes. cards and crosses. Yeah. Um May inside a vampire love triangle. Uh girl wrote, it's the okay. So Angelo wrote that I love Alexis is doing her makeup just to go to sleep as soon as the stream's done. Such dedication, real beauty guru. And then yeah. girl says it's the best time to do your makeup. It always goes on awesome when you have nowhere to be. That is yeah. so fucking true. So true. true. <laughs> like My eyebrows have never looked better on camera. I can't see you. I have to believe you. Like I'm gonna picture you looking like a goddess. I can't. Do okay, so he only has like. Can I do it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we are so off topic today what the hell <laughs> can you do the sound it's gonna be like one of those <laughs> like we we sit here and cat, like click our tongues <laughs> in the stream there we go <laughs> um, yeah, he, 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 there's only two three products and we have gone over it and like oh, rocks wants you rocks wants you to wait you yep. need to tell her what you want and she'll put it in your box what that I was not what I meant to say. She will put it in a care package for you. She's not putting anything in your box. What? What? Oh, come on. It was a dirty joke and it was funny. <laughs> I don't understand you. I am. Another term for a vagina is a box. But I'm not English. <laughs> but I'm telling you so that you can know why it was dirty and funny. <laughs> So and you're like, it's still not funny. It's, it's really not funny. That's why it's funny. <laughs> Stop it. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. But I would really, like, I would love to have the unicorn sparkles just for my kid. Like, she would adore that shit. Yeah. Um, and but for me, I, I think that, I, like, the, the, the blue and yellow sparkles, uh, I, I would actually see myself using. Yeah, but I want everything for the freaking packaging, and I, I, I kind of want to have like I want to have all of these, like, uh, on my, my as posters, like all of her, 
photos. I want them as posters. Yeah. I want to go back to like the idea of a teenage room in the 80s and have Trixie all over my walls. <sighs> yeah. Because I love this aesthetic. I love this aesthetic. Aesthetic. Uh, yeah, so we wanted to mention Trixie because we, we love Trixie and we, I really hope that she's going to succeed in this. Uh, I yeah. think that she's going to come out with more and more uh, stuff when she... I wait. I'm so excited. I'm so yeah. here for it. Yeah, same. Like, I, I can't... Can you, can you see me? No, I can see Trixie's beautiful silhouette. But I stopped sharing it. Um, nope. What? How about now? Okay. now see me. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I was just telling that somebody yesterday. Those posters should be hung in the Louvre. Yeah. Yes. Why? So if I didn't understand what you said, what did you say this time? Well, not me. She's talking about um. Wait, what? Wait, I don't understand. Oh, are we talking about the box thing? <laughs> Your comment of she does under my, co I don't, I, I, I'm so confused. I'm so confused. And I'm totally blind. I can't see shit without my glasses. <laughs> so I'm like <laughs> down here because I can't see the chat. So that's why I'm, I'm basically smooching you down there. I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what did you just say? <laughs> Stop it! Stop. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I'm a foreigner. You can't. You can't judge me. You speak English really fucking well. You cannot say something. <laughs> Wait, where is this? Is my pillow of shame? <laughs> I'm gonna use my 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 nationality as an excuse. Every <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that was so good. <sighs> okay, so oh. uh, so I'm just gonna apply a bit of makeup, and then we can go to. Uh, Jeffrey, okay. uh, so that I can get something on. I, I'm not going to be able to, to put on a lot today on stream, I think. It kind of depends. Well, all right, then. What? I don't understand. Are you asking us or are you asking in the stream, Frog? Oh, bugger. What? My eyeliner just, I just eyelined my lid. Oh. Instead of my eye. Okie dokie. Let's see. Okay, so we have talked about Trixie Mattel and we have talked about ABH. Roxanne's. Okay, great. Thank you. Then I can stop worrying about that. And we are going, I'm going to find the next release. Uh, that we're going to talk about, and that is Jeffrey Star Cosmetics. Uh, jewel Breaker. Well, he has. Uh, well, we're talking about the Jawbreaker and not the gloss and not the concealer, right? Yeah. I mean, I still want to try the concealer and the gloss. Like, I'm not gonna lie, still want to yeah. try it. But I think we're gonna talk about the the Jawbreaker collection. But I, I have, I'm having a really hard time finding like good picture of Pictures, his. Pictures, yeah. Yeah. Uh, let maybe trend mood. That's a good idea. Uh, 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 uh. Mm -mm -mm. Hold on. Please hold. Technical difficulty. <laughs> no, that wasn't a good one. Blue blood is so good, Frog. Yeah. It is so good. It really is awesome. Like the quality, like is outstanding. So it is spectacular. Okay, so I am going to show you like a 
um, a Google search just because I can't really find a good uh, a good like picture on on hole on on hole on the hot like wow I know yeah so so his like his collection is very inspired by the jawbreaker the candy and uh, so I like for me I we don't have jawbreakers here where I live so Are you I serious? don't yeah so oh, I, I love jawbreakers yeah no the only experience I have is the movie <laughs> and love that movie so I don't know about the actual candy, but I do like the concept. It's very Jeffrey, isn't it? Like the jawbreaker. It's very, very oh, yeah. Jeffrey. And, oh, yeah. and 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 let's see if we can go. So so the this is like the full the, he, he's releasing two palette pa palettes. He has the um, the jawbreaker. What's that? Hello, good morning. So, so we have the Jawbreaker, which is a big palette. I think twenty-four palettes or something. Uh, shades, not palettes. Yep. yep. And um, and then we have like um, the Mini Breaker, which is his first mini palette. And which is I think, shadows. Yeah. So and uh, and all of these are really colorful. So this is like the big Jawbreaker uh, palette the inside of it so you can see it's really colorful can you see it properly i'm, I'm gonna see if i can mm -mm. so so this is the the palette there we go so you can see it here it, it's a very colorful palette and um i i really like it i'm i'm not gonna buy it because i can't afford it this month but I would really love to have it with on its all restock. these colors. Just buy it on its restock. Yeah, yeah, because now he he kind I kind of I think he kind of learned because the blue blue no the blood sugar palette was so hard to get a, a hold on. Yeah. But ever since he kind of like oh shit people actually want my stuff so I have to actually put put out it put it out. Yeah. Yeah. So so it's not as hard now to get a hold of it. As it was yes, before. best that is correct. You've never lived unless you've almost died sucking on a jawbreaker. Okay. <laughs> Sounds like an experience. <clears throat> totally worth it. There's so like I used to have a, a, such an obsession mm -hmm. with jawbreakers that I would lick them until I literally licked my tongue raw. Jesus. Like I was bleeding. And like I'd be licking it and then be like, what's this color? And I'd be like, I go and look at my tongue and it was bleeding. It was raw. What? Is that a good thing? <laughs> Probably not. Yeah, jo a, a girl says, Jawbreaker looks freaking magnificent. Like I got a little too excited when I saw this collection. My nail lady is going to his meet and greet in the UK next week. Uh, yeah, I I really love this one. Like I, I, I just, it feels like so... Like yeah, like you know, like a, a very, very like I'm gonna take everything I love and I'm gonna put it in this box, and this is going to be like a very comp compressed version of everything I like. Yeah. For Jeffrey. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I, I really like the color story of this one, and I really like that there's pastels in this. Like it's a pastel rainbow with more vibrant colors. Uh huh. Like, and that is something that I miss in my collection, like good pastels. Yeah. Especially this one. I don't know what it's called, but it's like a peachy color. Really oh, like um, is it prick? No. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, prick sounds good. It sounds fitting. Okay. Um, so I think that might be it. Yeah. I, I just I, I really like this collection and I, I really like the um, the mini breaker as well. Let's see if we can find it. So here we have the um, um, mini breaker and it's like a very much more viewed. It's almost like you go from high summer to like end of summer going into autumn. Mm -hmm. When it comes to the color story, I really like this one and it feels like this one I could see people having in their purse or something like the size of it yeah 
Very <laughs> travel friendly. Very travel friendly. Very travel friendly. TikTok off the Botogoro word list. Yeah, and yeah, I really like these. Like, I, I have, I haven't, like, I, I miss these uh, shades in my collection. A lot of yeah. them. Yeah. So I really like it. And and uh, for me, I always um, gravitate more toward his palettes, like his eyeshadow palettes, than his, uh, uh, than his uh, skin things and uh, lip products. But he has, what does he have? Like, I can't really find the entire. Quolech one. Oh, I'm on trend mode. Jawbreaker collection, Jaffrey. And uh, so let's see where we can find. I don't like that blue. That blue look. It looks like it's gonna be so milky and just. Mm. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like yeah. it. Yeah. Let's see if we can find lip something something. I want to see the entire collection. Why can't I find it? Bastet doesn't re doesn't reckon that the light the light colors are going to show up very well as pastels, mm. which is probably true. Yeah, I think you have to have a good primer for it, like yeah. and really pack it on. Like you can't really use it. Um, oh, here we have the Jawbreaker Brain, Brain Freeze. Freeze. Oh wait. Um, so, so this is like the the highlighter highlighter palette, and I I, I don't really like his highlighter palettes. Um, I think this is going to this would work better as an eyeshadow palette for me because a lot of these shades are too dark for me or too light for me actually. Um, so I wouldn't buy this for my face. I think. Yeah. No, I don't think any of those would really look good on me either. Um, I think they'd look, I think all, four of them would look beautiful on deep skin colors. Mm. Yeah. And two the of two. them would look okay on pale people. Mm. It kind of depends if it, if it resin, if it reads like this one in the bottom freeze tag, if it reads as blue on the skin, I think you have to be really pale to make it work like yeah. John McClane pale. Yeah. Like I am even a bit too dark for it, I feel, and I'm pale. Yeah. So I can't tell if I'm putting on too much blush. I don't know. I wish that he had oh more God. on his. I can't see you. Why can't you see me? Why can't you see me? Because I'm not looking at you. <sighs> so rude. No. So rude. Yeah, I can't seem to find the entire collection in a good good thing. Which I don't understand why he doesn't have it previewed on Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Like, yes, I know it's not out yet, but at least be able to like let us go through and take a look and mm. like decide what lip colors we want before they're sold out. Or you know, yeah. Yeah, it's always it's always like I have to go to the to other sites to find his stuff, and, yeah. it, and it's it's kind of like when you're doing stuff like this, it's kind of annoying. <laughs> Just give me an easy solution, Jeffrey. Okay, I've been told that there is not enough blush on my face, so I'm gonna go back a little bit yeah, where I don't have the white from my screen showing on my face. Yeah, and yeah, I have enough blush on. It's it's very much enough blush in person. You look so emo, like in a good way. Your face is emo. <laughs> I said in a good way. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. So I am a so, pale, pale bitch. No, you're not. I'm a pale, pale bitch. Pink, pink. I don't bitch. want to be a pale bitch. You're not a pale bitch. I'm a pale bitch. You're not very nice to me. Dose of color. Yeah. Go to his Instagram. Yeah, we, we might do that. I, I actually want to just apply my makeup for a while. So we're going to talk about something where I'm not going to show pictures because I think you've all seen pictures of it. Uh-huh. Uh, I'm not bashing the emos. I am. I told emo in a good way. 
<laughs> you're never you're, you're getting beat up on this stream, dude. Mm. So we are going to talk about the Jaclyn Hill lipsticks, and it, uh, I, I don't need pictures for this. There there has been a lot of hoopla on this topic. Um, rightfully so. Yeah. I I like emus. <laughs> I actually call my friend Emu. Yeah, my cat is um, called Namu. 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 No, my friend from Namu. One day we were drinking outside in my backyard. And I think it was like a birthday something and everybody had gone. Mm -hmm. And we were in my backyard and we were like, let's go out. Or no, what was it? Um, Tegan was saying something and she was like, I'm such an Emu. And Moira and I just jumped on that. And so, like, even still to this day, now when we talk to her, I'm like, you're such an emu. And she's like, <laughs> So, emu. Uh, yeah. So, the, are we ready to talk about the Jaclyn Hill lipsticks? Yes. Uh, we have been following all of this commotion on Twitter, mostly for me. Yeah. And I don't think you have followed it that much, but I have been like throwing images of her of these lipsticks. <laughs> like, Look at it! It's heavy! <laughs> throwing of the shade. Raj. So, oh, I can't see it. So, Alexis, can you keep an eye on the chat for me? Because I'm blind. Yeah. Um, yeah, no. So, yeah. So, so she had, like, I think she had the, her release like two weeks ago or something by now. Maybe even three. And yeah. and it like it started off as like a sort of drama because it's Jacqueline, but then people actually started to get their product, and mm -hmm. they were like, for the first thing people noticed was the like the bumps and lumps of it, and that was explained as like a chemical reaction because uh, they were uh, getting heated up in in travel in shipping, which yeah. caused the butters like the mango butter and the shea butter to to kind of separate and mm -hmm. cause this beady texture which is like that is a perfectly fine explanation i i i can i can live with it like if i paid 300 dollars i would send them back but uh, for like it's a it's a reasonable explanation like it chemical stuff happens in, in heat you know uh, why said did y'all see that someone's lippy is still growing things i saw yeah. that oh. yeah um, the next step was that people started to notice holes in it the next step was people finding hair and fibers on it and some people have even find like plastic shards in it and like there has been a lot of uh, theories on why this is happening and a lot of people think that she's selling selling expired makeup. What I want to know is why on earth someone would do this to their fans. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, what, what she decided to do was that? she decided to go in with a statement on the Jaclyn uh, website to say they are perfectly fine to wear. And she did a video on YouTube where she basically said, like, my product is not old, it's not moldy. Uh, but there's so many inconsistencies in this um, release. Mm -hmm. uh, like, I feel like the responsible thing for her as a brand owner would, like, uh, what is the word I'm looking for? Like, um, stop all of the selling. Like, tell people, don't use this pro these products yeah, until we have figured. Yeah, do a recall. And and just, like, send them out for pro proper testing just to, like, like to make sure that they're not in a bad state. Like, it, even though it they, they might not be old, but there have, might be, like, a trouble with the factory or the lab or something. Uh, so so that they just like, can, can really make sure that they are not hurting people who buy and use these lipsticks because people have gotten uh, like um, 
they they have been to the hospital with uh, with rashes because they are allergic to mold and these this triggered their allergies and well, like uh, and they get rashes where they swatch them and you know and and people are like keeping an eye on the lipsticks to see how they evolve and and people like notice that these like small fibers are growing and growing and getting worse and the smell is getting worse like it's it's going really quickly so and i like, watched raw beauty christie's video and yeah. i was appalled when she showed that little clip of where brianna fox pulled like it had to have been like a four inch long hair out like a 10 centimeter long hair out mm. of the oh and it just kept coming and i'm like when is this gonna stop like oh my god yeah so yeah it was just never ending and and for me like i i understand like that jacqueline is money hungry but if she wants to continue with her brand and selling cosmetics she has to fix this while it's not a huge scandal it, she, I, I feel like it's it's basically too late if she had done this like the first week she could have avoided this controversy. Now it's a bit, eh, I think it's too late, uh, but I cannot see her uh, thriving in the makeup business after this one. I no. cannot see it. No. Um, yeah. And, and and she she tried to explain away the white fibers on the lipsticks with white gloves in the lab when they did quality control. Yeah. And but I was what like, about the little silicone like balls that Raw Beauty Christie found in hers and like yeah. the, the the bubbles that were just like there was I think a couple bubbles like on a MAC lipstick, yeah. but not the entire top and side of the of the lipstick. Like yeah. you know, I and the fact that Christy was saying that they smelled, mm -hmm. um, that she was pulling those balls out, but it was interesting to me that the balls weren't throughout like the little beads or whatever they were mm -hmm. weren't throughout the entire lipstick they just seem to be more focused towards the top so mm. i'm wondering if at some point those were used like an agitator mm -hmm. like a agitator or something and they just got like stuck in the tubes or something i don't know it's just but we shouldn't have to have it's this really, conversation uh, this should not be happening no no and it's like it's so so str strange it's just like <sighs> so okay so she has an explanation for like the sweat marks on it like it ha has to do with humidity in in what it, in the heat like it, there's humidity in the bullet like that causes I've the, seen the that happen before so i that i'm okay with yeah I've seen um, the bubbles is because of um air bubbles Yep. Uh, the white fibers is because of hairy, like the cotton gloves. Uh, she has, she has stupid. yet to explain what the black fibers are, um, and why there's plastic why in, it. in it. Why there's plastic in it? Why yeah. there's why it uh, smells bad? Like and why everything has the same code? The, no, I didn't yeah. see it. Wait, a girl, I used to work in a makeup factory like 20 years ago and we never used those guys. No, it's like, it's insane. Like, I cannot see. And the thing is, I actually watched videos on, on like Lo how L'Oreal make their lipsticks just because like I got curious, how is the actual, like how do, do they do it? And she said she's working with one of the best labs in the US. So I kind of assumed that her labs would be in the same standard well, you know, as L'Oreal. When huh? you look at those, how things are made, mm. the hands never touch the lipsticks. No, this, no, exactly. Like they never go near. It's machines doing everything. Yeah. The first time I saw a person actually touch the lipsticks were, was when they were in plastic. That like they were so, like totally safe in a plastic wrap vacuum sealed that was the first time i saw a human person touch the lipsticks i saw one where they would do the quality control check so they would twist it up to make sure it twisted up fine and twisted it back down mm -hmm. but they were touching the tube yeah you know they weren't touching the lipstick 
<gasps> yeah, exactly. And all of the quality testing on the videos I watched was done by computers. What? Girls said that they were created in Cookie and's kitchen. Oh, yeah. The thing is, like, <gasps> th these are like her makeup is actually been um what is the word i'm looking for um uh, compared to being worse than cookies cosmetics that is bad yeah yeah so um yeah no i i i'm just like um there's so much and even if even if uh, there is only less than one percent that has had these complaints the the complaint like the the issue is still so serious because it looks so much like mold and expired product so it doesn't really matter if it's just one percent it this one less than one percent has so such severe issues that you have to look at the like shit are we are we selling bad makeup that can make people ill like even if it's just less than one minute it's serious enough to do a recall i i just want to point out as well mm. that and and this is this might be tea this might not be tea but if you remember when she did the vault collection mm. and she was talking about the amount of product that was sent back and she yeah. said yeah less than or she was like 0.1 percent has had a problem and she mm. says again 0.1 percent of my products have mm -hmm. a problem yeah. she's full of shit yeah and she's full of shit. i i'm just like i'm really she has there's excuses for everything and it's just like it's so weird like and of course okay if there is actually if they actually used white gloves like i feel like it's time to actually take someone release a statement from the lab you don't have to release the name of the lab but release a statement from the lab because i can guarantee you that they have lists of stuff like in in a lab environment in a factory environment you have to like uh, use uh, pair of, of gloves when walking into the lab because it's so important with hygiene so yeah. that i can guarantee like if you walk into a, a Mac mcdonald's uh, toilet cleaned last time blah 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 and imagine going into a laboratory where they, they are going to write down every little detail that could affect the makeup i can guarantee to you there's a list of products being used like hair nets, gloves, coats, shoe protection things, like everything. They are keeping record of every little thing. Yep. So if they actually used gloves, there's there's going to be paper on it. Yeah. And what's really interesting is, you know, you're talking about the gloves and stuff like that. Like that was a big part of Jeffree Star's video. That was a huge part of it was how clean and like, sterile everything was and mm -hmm. and watch the videos on how things are made clean sterile working conditions mm. these are sh these should never be issues if these are sterile working environments period mm. end of story yeah. and i agree she is she is pure greed in human form yeah greed no. and just yeah uh, I, th this this is just like and it annoys me like i i honestly don't really care about jack i'm not a fan i've never been a fan i don't watch her i'm not a hater either i just no. like she i know who she is i know what she does but i don't buy her product or anything it's she's not my type of person that's all no. and uh, but the fact that she keeps selling stuff and t telling people everything is fine nothing to worry about and like the whole building behind her is burning down it's like you're hurting people or risking it if you're actually if you actually care about your brand if you actually care about your consumers test the freaking lipsticks to exclude the, the potential risk of mold or anything that might be yeah. hurt our customers and i do and i agree with bastet i want to know where the hell the quality control is yeah yeah and another thing that this has blown up so much that the Food and Drug Administration is getting involved. Yeah. Like, are you yeah. for real? 
And the thing is, like, she keeps telling us that she is using the best lab in the US, meaning that other makeup companies are using the same lab. I actually want to use which makeup brands are using this lab because that means that there are high risks of makeup being contaminated yeah. uh, across the board because yeah. it, it means that this lab or this factory is contaminated. Like it, yeah. it, it's bigger than Jaclyn Hill. It has to do with a lot of makeup brands. If, yeah. her, if her makeup is contaminated, in because of what happened in the factory or the lab we need to know what lab it is because it might be hurting hurting people that have these my like i honestly because if if it was on, on the fault of the lab or factory i think they would have come in and we would know about it mm -hmm. i think these are old products yeah at, at this Marlena point in time marlena is it snell or stell snell Stel, Stel, Stel. So she went off and she was like, stop lying to people. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I was like, damn, Gina. Like she went <laughs> off. Yeah, but it's important. And it's like, she's actually hurting people. That's the thing. Yeah. Like she, she's like, people are going to the hospital because they are, are, are getting, like imagine like pregnant people, people with mold allergies, people who with asthma, people with all of these, these things, because like, mold in general where you inhale it and, and stuff like that but lipstick that you put on your lips and you ingest it and it, it's like our skin where we apply makeup is so so sensitive mm -hmm. and 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 like for me i i tend to sometimes i use lipsticks on my cheeks and i even use it on my eyes so yeah. i i i get i have the risk of putting mold on my eyes yeah if i don't know um if i don't and i i just trust these makeup brands to not sell me mold in their yeah. products because yeah. they, they're supposed to be quality control hygiene routine i trust these brands to be safe in their in their work so that i don't have to worry about it yep yep um, i did um, not girl said that yes even 20 years ago it was strict like they wouldn't let me work in the clean zones because i was clumsy i got stuck in packaging mm. i felt sorry for the lipstick it seemed like a fungi oh <laughs> my god you're so, fired you're, you're so fired no <laughs> I, I really didn't me, intend on going on such a rant with this one, but I, I feel I'm, I'm really annoyed because it feels like she's just doing like a cover up when it's so serious that it it's not like, and I just, I just want someone to take these lipsticks, do a chemical test to make sure it's not mold. Yeah. Yeah. Because if it's just fiber, like if it's just contaminated with fibers, that's gross, but it's not it's not dangerous in the same yeah. way. Yeah, it's not a health issue at that point. Yeah. Like, ugh, ugh. like I can't stand it when I get like cat hair stuck in my lipstick. Like, oh, mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This turned into a rant. Gosh, it did. Did a bit. Yeah. We, did, we did we did go on a rant it's okay uh oh gosh so so i i read like i'm curious about what's going to happen because i feel like someone somewhere is going to take these lipsticks that haven't been opened and they are going to do they, they're going to do a, a like a, they're going to do a test to see yeah. if what what is happening if there is mold or if there's any anything going on that might be har harmful uh, she has been uh, i think she has been reported to the fda yep so they are going to do i think uh, maybe do like an investigation or at least check if there's a need for one they have to at this point like yeah you know what I mean? And yeah. that's, that brings up a really good point. She said, also, let's say that moms let their kids play with mm -hmm. makeup like mm -hmm. I'm used to. Do. The yeah. kids could get sick and they have more sensitive immune systems, which is yeah. very true. Yeah, I get I allow my kids to play with my makeup uh, once in a while. Um, 
and they they take like the lipstick tubes and just smear it all over their face mm -hmm. like um because that's the fun thing to do and and like and they have sensitive skin as it is and i don't like i, I don't that it's just so and i think it's so irresponsible that she's just going into damage control and not actually being concerned about if it's true she it's just like it's not true but what if it is true uh, girl don't you is want being, sorry girl is being so shady she's like jacqueline's next packaging theme uh biohazard and radio <laughs> <laughs> maybe jacqueline is actually doing um um biochemical warfare oh could you imagine selling oh. makeup to to as a weapon <laughs> Jesus. Oh my God. well my makeup's a weapon beach my face is a weapon so 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 we're not gonna buy jacqueline's products we're not no. gonna buy anything like for me i'm not gonna ever buy anything from jacqueline hill no, um, never. And I, you and I were talking about this last night. Yeah. Was that like, honestly, how do you how do you come back from something like this? You mm. can't. No. Your name is so tarnished. It is. It's. It's like it's a no go. No one yeah. will work with her again. Yeah. If she's not her name on anything. No one's gonna buy it. Yeah, it's the same. Like she, her, her, her makeup brand is basically dead. Yeah, uh, and it's gonna affect her um, her collaborations. Like, who wants to collab with the mold beauty guru? Like the mold yeah. guru. Like, no yeah. one wants to have that on their brand. So, yeah. I, like the the collabs with Becca and Morphe, I, I can't see that happening. Yeah. Uh, in the future, and also I cannot see like people wanting Jacqueline to promote their their stuff. No, because they, she is going to be. She is now the moldy guru. To be quite honest, like she's now associated with mold so bad that no one in the makeup industry wants to be associated with her. Yeah. And and I feel like the only thing she can really do in the future, if she doesn't fix this in some miraculous way, is to go go back and make tutorials. But she can't do that because she's got this lavish lifestyle that she likes to lead. Yeah. And she doesn't know how to do makeup tutorial videos anymore. Yeah. All she knows how to do are make apology videos and bullshit um, excuse videos. Yeah, That's all she, she knows how to do. But she can't sell stuff anymore either because no one nope. is going to trust her word. Like she has, nope. if she doesn't solve this situation, she's, she's screwed. Like she's so screwed. Yeah. Um, so I, I don't understand how she's going to recover from this. I don't understand though. Honestly, like I don't understand, like given how much press this has gotten, mm -hmm. that people can still, still be like, oh no, she does no wrong. She can do no yeah. wrong. Like, you know, it's, it's, it's all fake news and bullshit. Like, are you for real? Like yeah. how, like who? If it's a conspiracy, who the hell has that much time on their hands to ruin a big bunch of lipsticks or yeah. get their friends to do it? You know what I mean? Like, come on. Yeah, it, it's been too many instances. Now, I, I'm pretty sure we have a few fake ones. Yeah. But all of these are not fake. Like, we don't no. get this. Uh, like, we don't get this with Jeffree Star. And people hate Jeffrey. Yeah. If people ha had the energy to actually want to sabotage someone, they would definitely aim for Jeffrey's products. They tried to with his concealers. Yeah, they did. Well, you, when they broke into his lab and everything. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I'm, 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 I was meaning like the smear, smearing. Oh, like smear sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I think. Who was it in chat that mentioned that people like Jeff, um, Jacqueline Hill's fans were 
was going on and saying it was Jeffree Star sabotaging her. Oh, I saw that. Like, and someone was worried about um, Jacqueline being sabotaged by Jeffrey. <laughs> and I'm like, why is Jeffrey responsible for every bad thing happening? <laughs> like, it, oh, wow. Angelo did a poll on Twitter for three options. Will Jacqueline yeah. Hill's career survive this crisis? Yes, 25%. No, 46%. Oh. And then number three, people are dying, Kim. <laughs> 29%. <laughs> <laughs> I actually voted on that and I said yes at the time because I felt like I, I ha I'm so cynical like I, I feel like it doesn't matter what people do I, they always bounce back yeah uh, but I just, now I don't, I don't think so dude I really don't think so no right now I feel like she is screwed if she doesn't pull out a magic rabbit or something out of her hat she yeah is so screwed she needs to take this seriously and not think that everyone is out to get her basically yeah they blame jeffree star for pubes in cat von d chase what? what um i can't fuck what the hell is going on my computer's what? doing something really weird hang on a second i need to jump i can't see chat so okay. give me a second mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I, it's really, uh, <laughs> no, it's, it's just, I, 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 yeah, yeah, for me, everything, I, I haven't bought an, bought an, ever, and, ooh, I haven't, what the fuck? Wow, really? Butterfingers? You right there? <laughs> I'd rather have butterfingers than, than moldy fingers. <laughs> yeah, that too. I would say uh, more out of her tw whoa. Wait, they blame okay for pubes and cave on yeah, I voted option three. Cat one D the girl has no name B2, not cat. I would say out of wow. Fish finger. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag fish fingers. <laughs> oh my god. I can't I still can't believe I said that. And it does need to be on a t-shirt, actually. I think that's perfect. Our okay, first part would be hashtag fish fingers. Fish fingers, fish fingers and Stangelo. Like, <laughs> like Angela, Angela told us, you have to back down with the Stangelo thing so you don't become a Stangelo channel. And I, I'm like, what do you mean? <laughs> become? We already are. How, how can you do this to me, Angelo? <laughs> Breaking the heart. What did I, I can't find my brow whisk. God damn it. What did you do? I put it somewhere. Well. Well, what? Where'd you put it? I don't know. That's why I can't find it. Oh, well. I'm going to have to have my, my natural brows. No eyebrows today. No eyebrows today because I can't find my pan and I, I'm getting tired. Oh. Getting lazy. Getting tired. Getting lazy. Yeah, okay. Are we done with Jacqueline Hill? I think we are done with Jacqueline Hill. Hey, liquid <laughs> liner recommendations. Oh, I don't mm. wear liquid liners. I have... Like, I have... Two. Like one is in the house, but I have this from uh, L'Oreal Superliner Extra Black Gloss. Like this is out. I have to throw it out, but I prefer like these felt tips. I do. I really like these ones the best. I cannot do liquid liner to save my life. Yeah. No, for, for a precise cat wing, I have to have like these very precise felt felt ones but i i don't really have a good recommendation for I need practice i i need to practice like actually sit down but every time i do to go to do it i end up rubbing my eyes raw and then i just am like screw it i can't do it it's just one of those things that is not in my wheelhouse yeah i'm actually kind of good at it to be honest i'm getting you really are good at it. But the thing yeah. is the the when i like i know that a lot of people i'm sorry i'm looking for stuff that's why i'm out of frame um 
I know that a lot of people have colored eyeliner, but for me, if I'm not gonna have like a full day out and about, I am actually using face paint. So I oh. have, so I have like, it's really dirty, I'm sorry, but I have this um, face paint palette from Mayron. Um, it's called the Gypsy Sh Shrine. And I have like uh, one of these. See if I can find it. I have like these really precise brushes. Like this is a thicker one, this is a thinner one, and then I have an even thinner one that's inside. And I use that to apply uh, face paints as a liner. Yeah. Uh, but if you go out, it's probably going to disappear because it's uh, it's not safe with water and sweat like that. Yeah. Yeah, Mayron is really, 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 really good. Uh, I heard... I. I heard that Jeffrey's um, liquid lip lipsticks, liquid yes. lips, are really good yeah. for liner. Yeah. So if you drug buy, that's why he never has Drug Lord in. Huh? That's why Drug Lord is always sold out because drag queens go to town on it. Yeah. So so if you have like one of his uh, liquid uh, lipsticks and a good brush, you can use that. But these brushes are really good. You can find this, like I bought this from a makeup store, but you I, you can buy uh, stuff like it in like the art shop. Mm -hmm. So that yeah. is what I recommend. But for makeup looks, when I when I don't really care about it being like <laughs> going through like rain and the work day and stuff like that, and I want a colorful liner, I use my Mayron palette. Yeah. I use the Zoeva brush. I bought a Zoeva brush that is, um, it's just like the ones you've got. Mm -hmm. I've got one of those. I actually got a couple of those. I have mm -hmm. my Zoeva brush and then I've got, I think, a Morphe. Mm -hmm. Oh, BH Cosmetics. I've got one. I've got my, my Zoeva brush, which I can't find. Oh, there it is. Um, and I think I've got a Morphe one that's like that as well maybe yeah 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 I bought, I bought my brushes from beauty bay so you should find them there uh, and this is a this is from b delium tools um and this one is nema brush it's the bigger one i use this a lot when i do my face painting because it's it's kind of like specific but it's not too thin when I was in my emo gothy face, I used a Mac one. I need pictures. Uh, I stand, 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 you know, I've got Angelo as an emo. My 15 year old heart is quaking. <laughs> I, I need to see pictures of this. Please, I'm begging you, Angelo. <laughs> but please show us pictures. <laughs> please, we must see the pictures. Um, I'm going to practice. I was a wine house liner kind of gal. Just wanting to get back in the liner. Look like a cute yeah. little wing. Yeah, the, the cute little wing. I I want um, to know how to do the cute wing. I've tried so many times and so many products. Yeah, just, uh, the, th the thing I have, the problem I have because I have hooded eyes, so I yeah. can't do the cute little wing. I have to do a really bold wing, and when I when I look like normal, it looks like a cute little wing because yeah. I like ninety percent of it disappears. I saw. I can't remember who the video was by, but this oh. chick is was oh my god, so beautiful, oh. and she has really hooded eyes like I do. And what she, like, she was recommending that you look, you have a mirror and you look directly into it and that's how you draw mm. your line. Mm. And like, it looked wonky when you closed your eyes, like it had like a little hitch in it. It wasn't like a straight line, but yeah. So I tried yeah, to do it like that. Do but... you want to see how I do my line? Yeah. Uh, if we if we have time for it. I don't see why we can't. Yes, I'm, Alyssa I'm, actually was another one that I was like, she was the first one I think I watched mm. when it came to with liner. And then I yeah. watched Rob Christie. And should I like I have I don't 
or do I? Yeah, I have water here, so I'm going to use my mayron pen because the black one is about to run out. Hold on. So I take my brush. Let's see, I'm going to fail this one here. I can assure you. And I'm taking a black paint. You have, you can talk. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm enthralled. I, I want to know what happens. So I'm covering my brush. And I, I usually start, let's see if I can do it. I have a mascara on, so I might be, but I usually start here where I just follow my lash line. And then I go and follow like that. Like I follow my uh, eye. Grease. Yeah, so so Natural that it doesn't go. So I just like, it has like this thing here and I just try to follow it. So I have yeah. a line like that. Um, and as you can see, it's a long line because I have hooded eyes. So I can't go for a small one. And then I go and I connect that with the, with the point. And as you can see, now I have like a good pointy line and I'm just gonna allow that to dry for a bit. But when I open my eyes, it can look a bit weird because in, when I open my eyes, it changes the shape of the eye. Yeah. Um, so what I usually do is that I make a thicker, like this is going to be a really bold one. So you can see what I am doing. Like it's, it's not a... Yeah. You're doing it just like that chick showed me. Yeah, because that is going to disappear when yeah. I open my eyes. and But when I have it like this, it looks more like one continuous line. Yeah. You see? Yeah. So that is how I do it. Was that good? That was good. Thank very you. good. Very good, very good. Thank you, thank you. So that's how I do a cat wing. And if I want to do a, a bolder one, I just add more. If I, I, I have a hard time doing a cute little one because of my eye shape. Like I kind of have to have a bold one. Yeah, this is a bit bold. Maybe take away like half of it. <laughs> I think it looks good. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome, Barmage. You're welcome, Barmage. Who do do? You're welcome. So that is the trick I use for my hooded eyes when it comes to a cat. I. And what I do for my hooded eyes is not do a liner. <laughs> Yay! Yay! So, ah, doing tutorials. I know, I almost felt like a real booty guru right there. <laughs> so, are we going to end this here? I think we should end this here on a, on a very happy note. Okay. So it was a great conversation. Excuse the little uh, Jacqueline rant, but I feel like it's an important topic that we need to talk about. And I would like to end with that, that if anyone is actually watching this in uh, the replay, don't apply the Jacqueline lipsticks on your face until you know with test results that it's safe. Yes. Put your safe first rather than, you know, her wallet. Yeah. Prioritize your health. Yes. So thank you so much for watching and being here. And I hope you're having a great day. Thank you, Alexis, for being here with me. Thank you, my friend. And as always, hashtag Stangelo, hashtag, hashtag fish, fish fingers. Hashtag fish fingers. <laughs> Have a good day, everyone. Bye. Bye.